Hey everyone, welcome back to Alleyways or if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And if you haven't already, please, please, please make sure to join the Alleyways family, subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and turn on post notifications, not only so you know when I have new content, but also so I can include you in my subscriber shout out. This is my special way of thanking and acknowledging each and every one of you. I am so grateful for the family here. You all bring so much joy and positivity to my life. I'm going to be saying thank you to two very special subscribers at the end of today's video, so make sure you stay tuned until the end in case that's you. Chances are, if you're a part of the Alleyways family, you have come here from like Disney cruise vlogs or Disney videos, and if you have, and if you are like me, you are missing Disney Cruise Line so much during this pandemic. Y'all, I miss being on board so much. I, it, it's hard to even say how much I miss it and I know a lot of you all are like me. It's been a while since I posted any Disney Cruise content. I cannot wait until it's safe for us to be back on board. But in the meantime, today something I thought would be fun would be to do something that I do when I'm really missing Disney Cruise Line and that is going online, looking at the menus, going through and thinking about all the things that I love on board and I thought it would be really cool for me to go through um, menu by menu, restaurant by restaurant, and kind of just walk through the items that I've experienced, tried, um, kind of talk about them. One, it would be really fun for all of us that have been. It'd be very nostalgic. We could share our opinions about these items. And then two, if you've never been before, it's sometimes really nice to have a recommendation from somebody who has. So let's not wait anymore. Let's jump right into the menu at Animator's Palette. So if you haven't been on a Disney Cruise Line vacation before, just so you know, Animator's Palette is an incredible restaurant that is on board all four of the Disney Cruise Line ships. It's on the Magic and the Wonder, the Fantasy and the Dream. There's just a slight difference um, in the version that you experience on the classic ships, the Magic and the Wonder versus the newer ships, the Dream and the Fantasy. On the classic ships, the restaurant is all black and white. You're gonna experience a really cool dinner show. I don't wanna give away too many spoilers. Whereas in the newer ships, everything is in full color. It's made to look a bit like an animation studio, actually. There's really neat LED screens where you can play games and have special guests visit you while you're dining. Again, I don't wanna give away too much. Each are beautiful, each are an incredible experience, and they all share an incredible menu. So reading from the Disney Cruise Line website, the menu is described as a savory fusion of Pacific Island foods, Asian cooking, and fresh California fare. It all paints a delicious culinary picture nightly. So that's what you can kind of expect from the menu. I really do think that there is something for everybody on this menu. What I'm going to do is just start at the very, very beginning and we're gonna work our way through the entire menu. I am using a link to the menu from a website that is down in the description box down below if you want to look at the version that I am using. As far as I know, this is the most recent menu. This was the menu last time I was on board. If it has changed, let me know in the comments down below and we'll just have to do a new video for the new menu. All right, let's kick things off with bread service. Animator's Palette bread service is truly delicious. It's one of my favorite, maybe, know it, it is my favorite. This is the best bread on the ship. So you can expect to have absolutely delicious herb focaccia and ciabatta bread with a roasted garlic dip. Now I am somebody who loves bread. I I love dinner. I love food. I really love nice bread and it's so difficult because you have such incredible dinners every single night on board and you know you have to save room so to speak and it is so hard not to fill up on these delicious bread services. This one is one you just can't miss. For me, especially the focaccia bread. That's my personal favorite. I absolutely love it. It's delicious. Just don't miss it. Don't skip bread service and just have a little bit. See if you can. I always end up eating an entire piece of the focaccia bread with the roasted garlic dip. It's it is just so good. I prefer it over the ciabatta. That's just me personally. Let me know which you prefer between the two in the comments down below. But yes, I've tried both. The focaccia is my personal favorite across all restaurants. Now let's move in to the appetizers. I'm going to read them all off. Then I'm going to dive into what I've had, what I've haven't, and what I think. Also, by the way, I realize I may pronounce quite a few things wrong in this video. 
and I apologize for that. I am doing my best. The appetizers that are currently available in Animator's Palette, to the best of my knowledge, are smoked salmon tartare with dill, capers, onions, pickles, and a horseradish cream, sliced serrano ham with manchego cheese and olive tapenade, black truffle pasta presets, pasta purses filled with truffle scented cheese and coated with a delicate champagne sauce, and last, the tomato tart with glazed goat cheese and shaved radish. So I have had all of these appetizers except the sliced serrano ham. Something that's going to be true of all of these sections of the menu. I am somebody who now having traveled with Disney Cruise Line 15 times, I know what my favorites are and it's so hard when I'm there not to have them because they're so good so it's hard to stray. One thing that I'll recommend doing is if there's something that you're really excited to try and another thing you don't want to miss, try ordering one to share with the table. That's something that I'm going to start doing more so I can try more things off the menu. So let's start with the smoked salmon tartare. We actually ordered that the last cruise for the first time. My brother ordered one and then my dad ordered one for the table. It was absolutely delicious. Now you do have to like fish, um, not that it was overly fishy, but you can taste the salmon. But this was so delicious, so creamy. Uh, the plating was absolutely beautiful. All of the plating really is like a work of art, but I thought this was a really great choice, especially for the seafood lover in your family. I have also tried the tomato tart. My mom uh, usually gets the tomato tart um, as well as the black truffle pasta brissettes. And the tomato tart is also delicious. It's so light and flaky. I normally am not a huge fan of goat cheese, but this one was really mild and delicious. Again, it was beautiful. I would think of it as a really, really kind of light, crunchy pizza almost. It was delicious. Now, black truffle pasta per sets. Black truffle pasta per sets are one of the best things that I have ever had on board Disney Cruise Line, hands down, period. I have made TikToks about how much I think about black truffle pasta per sets. I have a video on my channel where I tried to recreate them at home. They actually turned out pretty good. You can watch that here. These are so delicious. They're so delicious that I'm tempted to order them as my entree. They are something that I look forward to. They're so, so delicious. They are creamy and the taste is just oh, absolutely delicious. I love the little vegetables. The sauce is perfect. My only complaint is that there's just not enough. I just want to order an entree portion of black truffle pasta per sets. That is how good they are. I am really interested in trying the sliced serrano ham in the future. That's something that probably next time I will order for the table. But for me, with how much I love, clearly, the black truffle pasta per sets, it's too hard to stray from them. And I'm pretty sure the next time I go, I'm going to make them my entree. Now let's move on to soups and salads. The soups and salads that are available at Animator's Palette are creamy butternut squash soup garnished with chives and drizzled with sour cream, baked potato and cheddar cheese soup with bacon bits and chives, arugula leaves with red beets, orange segments and marinated white beans and mustard dressing, chicken and walnut salad with dried cranberries, red onions, and a cranberry dressing. So from this portion of the menu, I have tried the baked potato and cheddar cheese soup, the arugula leaf salad, and the chicken and walnut salad. I've not tried the creamy butternut squash soup, not because I don't like butternut squash soup, but again, I'm somebody who just loves the black truffle pasta per sets, and a lot of times I will order um, one of the black truffle pasta per sets and one tomato tart, and now maybe in the future, the tomato tart and the salmon tartare to do double appetizers rather than a super salad, just because I think the appetizers are so good here. Not that these aren't amazing. I thought the chicken and walnut salad was really delicious. The chicken is cold in the salad, and I'm somebody that prefers warm grilled chicken in a salad. That's just a small kind of picky thing. It was still delicious. I love the cranberry, and I thought that it was really, really delicious. Um, the arugula leaf salad, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of beets. There's people in my family that love them. The salad was still delicious. The arugula and the orange was 
really great. The dressing was really nice. The baked potato and cheddar cheese soup is delicious. It's really rich. Um, and the mostly the reason I don't get it is because it will fill me up really quickly. And it's so good that I want to eat it all. If you've tried the creamy butternut squash soup, let me know. Also, if you're somebody who does order from this menu, what do you get? Do you prefer the soup or the salad? Do you do both? I'm really curious to see because most of the time in this restaurant in particular, I bypass super salad to do double appetizer um, because I'm so committed to the black truffle pasta for sets, but I don't want to miss the tomato tart. That's just me. If I was picking from here, I would do either the chicken and walnut salad or the baked potato and cheddar cheese soup because like I said, they're both really, really delicious and very flavorful. Now let's move on to our entrees. So looking at the available entrees in the animator's palette, you can see that what is available is penne bolognese, that's the pasta mixed with rich bolognese sauce garnished with shaved parmesan and toasted garlic ciabatta. They have the grilled tuna steak with fingerling potatoes, sun-dried tomato pesto aioli, there's the herb crusted pork chop, that's the roast pork chop brushed with Dijon mustard crusted with herb breadcrumbs served with sun-dried tomato risotto and a wine sauce, and then there's the ginger teriyaki dusted Angus beef tenderloin served on wasabi mashed potatoes and bok choy with tamarind barbecue reduction. So in Animator's palette, my go-to pick is the teriyaki dusted Angus beef tenderloin. This is an incredible steak and the sides that come with it are amazing. The wasabi mashed potatoes are delicious. The flavor, if you're somebody that is a little intimidated by the spice of wasabi, not to worry. The flavor is really subtle. It's just a really nice subtle spice. And then the vegetables that come with the steak are also delicious. I have tried the chicken breast. That's something that my mom has gotten in the past. And I think I might've gotten in the past as well. It's a really safe choice. If some of the things on this menu aren't speaking to you, you can never go wrong with the chicken breast. The root vegetables that it comes with are really, really nice. Hunter actually got the grilled tuna steak on some of our last trips and let me try it. It was really delicious. A great choice. I still prefer the steak over the tuna or the chicken breast. It just had a little more flavor to me, but I'm somebody who also loves steak. Um, I have tried the pasta in the past. It was really delicious. Um, I think that if you're a pasta lover, it would be better to save eating pasta for some of the other restaurants. I think there's better pasta options in some of the other restaurants, especially in Palo, if you're going to go. But it was delicious and it's a good choice if nothing else is speaking to you. The only thing I have not tried is the pork chop. So you all will have to let me know how that is. All of the other options are really, really delicious. And my personal recommendation would be the Angus beef tenderloin and probably coming in at second would be the tuna steak. They're both, oh, they're both so good. And again, the plating is delicious. As always, if none of these options work for you, Disney does have vegetarian options and lighter note offerings. I haven't tried the vegetarian options. That's the black bean chipotle cakes and the sesame halimi parcels. Um, I'm not opposed to trying them, but to me, the steak is always my go-to. It's consistently good. It's consistently great, let's be honest. But I actually have tried the jumbo shrimp salad. In the past, like I said, I, I normally go for double appetizer, but there was a trip when I tried the black truffle pasta brusettes with the jumbo shrimp salad, and it was really delicious. It has poached tiger shrimp tossed in lemon, olive oil served on diced cucumber egg, and red onion with garnished roquette leaves. It was, it was really, really tasty. Uh, the shrimp is not grilled, it was cold. That doesn't bother me, but if you're somebody that prefers grilled shrimp, just a heads up. I think it's a great option. It's a really great salad, um, but I do think that the entrees that are available will not let you down. All delicious, all great options. I've never had a bad meal in Animator's Palette, and that includes the incredible desserts. Like I said earlier, something I'm always trying to do at every dinner on board Disney Cruise Line is to pace myself, and that is because I have a major sweet tooth, and desserts on board are truly not to be missed. 
especially an animator's palette. I think they have a really, really strong dessert menu. Here are the options that are available. Crunchy walnut cake, dark chocolate mousse, and raspberry coolis. Chocolate fudge cheesecake, creamy vanilla cheesecake with a chocolate fudge base. Cookies and cream sundae, cookies and cream ice cream with chocolate sauce and chocolate chip cookies. Apple crumble rice pudding with vanilla bean ice cream. That's one I don't actually remember. And then for the signature dessert, there's the lemon icebox pie served with lemon curd and berry cream. And then the deconstructed carrot cake, a classic carrot cake with a twist. Now, I don't remember the apple crumble rice pudding being available when I've gone in the past. Let me know if I am losing it and you guys remember it and if you've tried it, how it is. Other than that, I have actually tried every single dessert item, including the no sugar added dessert, and everything is delicious. My personal choice is the lemon icebox pie, the signature dessert. I love lemon icebox pie. We make it a lot at home. This one was really, really good. It was one of the better desserts that I had on board. Absolutely delicious. I've had the cookies and cream sundae. In every restaurant, there's gonna be a sundae, a signature kind of sundae that you can order any night, and that's always a safe bet. The ice cream on board is fantastic. This one, I think, was especially good. I really did enjoy it. I loved the chocolate fudge cheesecake. I just thought that some of the other options were a little bit better. The crunchy walnut cake was great as well. The deconstructed carrot cake, the no sugar added, my dad has been getting that the last few years. And not only is it delicious, but it is gorgeous. Like I said, again, the plating was just so beautiful. Um, I, I really did like it. Enough to tempt me away from the lemon ice box pie? Probably not enough to uh, order it as the second dessert, definitely. <laughs> uh, if I was gonna order two desserts, it would be definitely the lemon ice box pie and then I would have a hard time picking between the cookies and cream sundae or the deconstructed carrot cake. Decisions, decisions. All in all, something I'll say about every single Disney Cruise Line dining experience is I've never had a bad meal. I've never tried anything on board that was anything less than delicious uh, and the service is just incredible. You cannot go wrong on a Disney cruise. An animator's palette is such a special experience, restaurant, and delicious menu. I have loved everything that I've had from there and I cannot wait to be back. Y'all, thank you so much for following along. Something that I would think would be really fun for us to all do is to share our order from this menu in the comments down below. Again, please let me know how those items are that I haven't tried. Let me know if I'm missing out on something magical. Let me know what you would order. And let me know if you want me to see more videos like this on the channel. This is something that I do all the time at home. Like I said, if I'm really missing the cruise, I'll just pull up the menus and look through them, remember the good times, and look forward to to being back on board. All right, now let's shout out to very special subscribers. First up, I wanna give a big hello and thank you to Kathleen Harper. Kathleen, you have been so sweet. You followed me on TikTok. You followed me on YouTube. You joined the Alloway family here and you sent me a really kind email. Thank you so much. You have been so sweet and supportive. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to be kind to me and to be part of this family. I'm really, really glad you're here. I also want to give a big hello and thank you to Maria F. Maria, you commented on one of my Disney Cruise Line videos recently and you're gearing up and planning to go again. I just want to say thank you for your kind words. Thank you for being here. If you have any video requests that can help you prepare for your next Disney trip, let me know. Let me know what all of you want to see next time. Like I said, if you enjoyed this video, let me know. I had a lot of fun making it and I'd love to do the other restaurants on board. I want to thank my premiere crew here in the live chat. Y'all are amazing. Thank you for being here. I look forward to being in the chat with you all so much. It is the highlight of my week every week. I love you all so much and I can't wait to see you next time right here on Alleyways. Bye!